Hello friends. In this video, we are going to create simple web server in Python. So, how does a web application server work? By default, the web application server listens on the port 80 and 443. 80 is by default for the HTTP and 443 is for the HTTPS. HTTPS is more secure than HTTP. And then it wait for the client request for the various headers like get, post, head and other. And then the and then the web server process those requests and send the output to the client. Now let's uh, write the code for this. So. Uh, Build this simple web server. We need to import two classes. First is socket server, and second is simple HTTP server. Socket server. Second is import simple HTTP server. And please take care of the spelling mistake. Don't make any spelling mistake, or you will get an error. So let's uh, write our simple HTTP server. TCP server. Now here we, we need to write the API address and port number in tuple. Here this the blank uh, double dash means the default address, the system IP address and this is the port number. Let's reduce this to double port. Okay, so this port number is going to bind with this IP address, and then our web when our web server will be created, it will listen on this port, and then if if when it get a, a request on that port, it will serve the client. So, and the next uh, option here we have to add is the handler. Now first uh, we are going to add the default handler simple http server dot simple http request handler dot no nothing dot just the simple handler and our http server is created now we just need to run it with the serve forever command serve forever so our web server is created and we just need some four simple line now let's open the terminal first provided proper permission to execute so you can see there's no error and the cursor is blinking so this means that our web server is running correctly now let's we first know the IP address of my machine and my machine IP is 192.168.100.4 now let me put here the IP address and the port so you can see our web server has opened its default directory uh, the default directory here is the directory where we have uh, where we are running our program so in by default it lists all the content of that directory here you can see all the file and here it also lists the same files and here you can see the request get request http 1.1 and the http code 200 so in this code we have just write a simple TCP server and implement its default by default handler we can also override this handler if we want to implement more uh, like more complex web server like more advanced web server than this uh, web, than this version of the web server like many web pages like the web server also have various pages 
of options for those variables so you can also create those options you can create your own handler first name it HTTP handler now let's create a class with that name this class is going to be the subclass of the simple HTTP server dot simple HTTP request handler now let's override the do get method now self dot path variable will give us the path the current path and this variable is used if you want just like we want this admin page when someone open this admin page then um, it should print some message like this page is for admins only then close it now let's also dump the header So then else if any other um, request is there so open and paste this on the do get method. So this complete and add some five six line of code and we have created a, a little better web server than the previous one. Now let's open our browser refresh the page no no first we need to run the program again because we have made changes in the code so you can see we have an error http handler is not defined so let's see http handler check the error the error is in line number 14 you can see this I just paste in some spelling mistake now let's run this code again so you can see the address is already in used the, this means that uh, in our previous like the program which we have run previously in this program so this um, port is already bind and it needs some time to get unbind so let's change the port number to triple four five So you can see our program is running without error. Now let's refresh the page by changing the port number. So you can see again the uh, the list of files. Now let's type admin here and then see. So you can see it has shown the message. This page is for admin only, and then dump the TCP header, the client TCP header, and shows various options. So you can see we have implemented the simple HTTP server. Here you can see the request and also see the uh, 404 code for the pav icon file. This is just a simple icon which you can share in YouTube. Like here also there is going to be some icon which is missing. So you can use this uh, simple web server just. Uh, to send exploits to, to the client or you can use to pen test the client side code also so i think that's all for this video thank you have a nice day